Yo, yo, how's it going? You guys didn't think that I was going to leave you out, did you? In my last video, I made a comprehensive guide to filtering that incorporated this base, and I did not cover how to design it, which sounds like this. Now, there are a few artists that come to mind that this reminds me of, but I made the base from scratch, so it's my base. Hey. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and cover this video pretty quickly and show you guys the patch. This will be available on my Patreon as far as the patch goes, and then I'll also leave an audio file in case if you don't have Serum, although I would highly recommend that you pick it up through maybe like a rent to own splice or something, just because there's so many videos with Serum now that why not? You can learn so much from it. I don't like leaving anybody out. In the arms of the that being said, this is going to be a much shorter video, and we're going to go ahead and just dive right into how I made this patch. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn everything off other than the base waveform because I want you guys to see how the sound evolves. And you'll kind of notice like what characteristics make that change. So at the very beginning, we have a detuned saw wave, which sounds very quiet. And there's a couple of key characteristics that have changed in order to kind of get this starting point. First thing is that I've turned the detune to kind of even out the sound levels. And I've also turned the blend up by quite a bit. And this is something that you can finick with, of course. Like, you know, I encourage you to experiment with. One of the big things is I've turned the random phase down. And all that basically means is that it's always going to start from the same point. Generally, when the random is turned up through the phase, it will start in random positions. So it'll give you a different characteristic of the sound. So turn that down. It's just for the sake of control and predictability. Next thing that I did was I added a sub oscillator. That's just another sign, another saw. Damn it. And that's going to kind of give it a solid base or solid fundamental from all the detuning. Because again, remember when you do detuning, you get phase cancellation. And as cool as it sounds, it cuts out some frequencies. So this will give it a little bit of consistency. Next thing that I did was I added some hyper dimension. And there's just a little bit of mix on the hyper. I don't really know what exactly this is. It's kind of like a flanger chorus thing mixed together. It sounds really cool, but you kind of want to use with caution because it will wash out your sound pretty quickly. And then I've also added some dimension, which the size is relatively low with more of a mix as opposed to size. And that, of course, is going to widen the sound out. From here, I've added a phaser. And this is set to a complete mix, and the rate is turned all the way down at zero, where the frequency is sitting at 630 hertz. And if you don't know, like a phaser is essentially just a bunch of notches, as demonstrated here. We can look at the phase that's happening right here of all of these. That's really cool. It's a nice touch from Serum. And really, I just kind of leave it there for a little bit of vocalness. Versus... You can hear that certain parts of the sound spectrum are being cut out, but instead of moving it and having it phase through, I'm just leaving it in one spot. Next up, I have an instance of distortion where I'm actually cutting all the highs and then adding a crap ton of resonance to 148 hertz. The drive is turned up 97% and the mix, excuse me, is just at 87 because I just wanted to leave a little bit of the high end to kind of barely pass through. Because when we turn on the compressor, which is set to multiband, then it's really going to make this patch shine. Sorry, let me... So that's how it sounds without, and then turning the compressor on makes the biggest difference in the world. So how I got it to sound like this was turning the threshold actually up. So normally it kind of sits around here, um, around like 20, minus 20 dB. And then I've also turned the gain up by quite a bit to make the sound louder. And that's kind of it for the effects. That's pretty much it. The last thing that I might have done was turn on the noise oscillator, but the level is at 3% and turn the pitch up. Maybe you can set this to mono, so that way you can do some glide if you want to. But other than that, that's the synopsis of the patch. You might notice that there's some FM right here, which I was experimenting with. If you want to create some variation, that's always a cool way to try to see if you can create something different. This is kind of arbitrary. The levels turn all the way down, but if you want to see what this sounds like with some FM. You can kind of get this cool, like, almost distorted guitar lead. That sounds pretty neat, but that's just a variation of possibilities. So the last thing that I'm going to cover 
this is from the last video, but the last thing I'm going to cover is there's an OTT on the outside of the patch, and then it's just kind of filled out with a little bit of saturation, and that's the patch. There's not really a whole lot else to it. So something that I want to keep in mind, if I haven't mentioned already, is that this sub has a direct output, and it is not being affected by all of these. Now this is important because if I turn the direct output off, that means that this is going to be affected by the effects. It's going to give you a different characteristic. I don't know if you can tell or not, I'm listening to this in headphones, but the phase is much less noticeable. But if you have a direct output, then when we play this again, that's a huge, huge difference in my opinion. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind and experiment with if you really want to accent that sonic characteristic, so to speak. But yeah, thanks so much for watching my content. Hopefully that was kind of clear and to the point. If you guys have any questions, then feel free to let me know in the comments. And if you're interested in figuring out what to do with this on a further scale, go watch my in-depth tutorial on how to filter and or a comprehensive guide to NeuroBase. Thanks so much, guys. Give my video a like and subscribe if you can. And happy producing. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but at the end of every video, uh, all of the music that you guys hear is my songs. <laughs>